Hey, it's Jim, your humble host from De Bergerac. And we're, today we're going to talk about what I'm wearing. All right, well, let me get some of this stuff off. We can talk about why I'm wearing a ski mask to do welding. So we're building these wine cabinets for a boat. We're going to have really cool videos on those. These are all stainless steel. These refrigerated wine units, they're going to be really cool. But we're not going to talk about that today. We're going to have more video on that later. We're going to talk about this really neat mask from Miller. Now you can see behind me the old surplus of masks that I use. Welding helmets, really not masks. This is actually a mask. You would not believe how easy this makes your life when you're welding inside a box like what I'm doing and your helmets is always hitting up here or down here or you can't get your eyes adjusted right. With this little bad boy you put the shield on that I was wearing and you got just like a welding helmet. Now there's one these just came in I get my stuff from Matheson Gas here in Fort Lauderdale they're a lighter weight hood They're using the fire department, the military, and they have a UV blocker in them into, built into the fabric. So I'm hoping this makes my life better. Simply put it on. So now, this is a much lighter helmet or a shield than the other one, which is nice if it's hot where you're welding. Put these bad boys on and look your whole face is covered pretty nice so i already this is the first time i've had this on this was for you guys and as you can see i got a couple more packages of them if they if they get dirty or something supposedly you can machine wash this about 10 times before it loses the carbon inside it so the cool thing about my mask is i can look at the solar eclipse next tuesday We'll have the uh, auto darkening set way up so it don't hurt my eyes. And I'll be running around like this. So if you see some wacko in the neighborhood with a ski mask looking at the sun, that'll be me. So now this is much lighter, easier to work with. There's a couple features with this lens. You can grind with it, change the mode on it as well. You can change your shade just like you can with a regular welding helmet. It has all those features. Plus, you can put your little cheater lens on the inside of it goes right inside it actually works pretty well you just click it right up in there and there's your cheaters so you can get all the different 1.5 2.5 they don't make a 3.0 but they do make a 2.5 for the cheaters so i do like that that's pretty nice now if you wanted to shape this mask so it came up here on your face the other cool thing about this lens is very gently you can pop this right off. You can just use the goggles. And then, of course, you bring this mask up close around your eyes. So I'm extremely happy with these. I'm not getting paid to do this video. I just wanted to show you guys a really cool thing for welding. It makes your life a lot better. These aren't any more expensive than a quality Miller helmet. They come in a box like this. Comes complete. You can see the shield the way it looks. It comes with that hood, the shield, and inside there's a bag to put everything in to keep it protected. The only downside that I see with these, they're fragile. Not to the extent that you can't work in them, that when you put them down, you have no way to keep the lenses from getting scratched. So something I'm going to do, which I'm not going to do a video on it, is just make something that this can drop into and it will hold the mask up for me when I set it down. That way my cheaters don't get scratched and the face doesn't get scratched. It's an investment, you wanna protect it. It's a really nice unit. If you all like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel, please. We're almost to 4,000 at the time that we're making this video. 4,000 subscribers, that's really good. There's a lot of you out there that are supporting us. I really appreciate that. And please leave me a comment. Sometimes it takes me a couple days to get back to you, but I try to return all the comments and answer any questions that you might have. Till next time, we'll talk to you all later and make something cool.